Hello, in this video, we will be going over how to adjust the speed on our auger system, as well as our clay extruders. There are many factors that change the overall speed. We will be going over all of them and telling you which ones should be used. The first important setting that must be changed is the nozzle size setting. This should match the nozzle that is on the auger system or clay extruder. The nozzle size setting is available to be changed in all slicers. In Cura, it is under machine settings. Change the nozzle size to what you are using. The auger system has a one inch opening. So in this example, we will set it to 25.4 millimeters. The next setting is the filament diameter setting. In Cura, it is called compatible material diameter. Traditional plastic 3D printing uses a setting of 1.75 millimeters. We use this same setting for our clay extruders. However, our auger systems use a filament diameter setting of 51 millimeters. This is required to have a normal flow rate with 3D potter printers. The next setting that greatly affects the flow rate is the wall thickness setting. It is important to note that not all slicers have this setting. In Cura, it is called line width. Make sure you change all of the line width settings. We highly recommend you make the line width setting the same as your nozzle size. Here, the G-Code preview shows the 25.4 millimeter thick walls matching the nozzle size. As an example, here is what happens when we change the wall thickness to 50. This would cause the auger system to greatly over extrude, trying to make a two inch thick wall with a one inch nozzle. We do not recommend this. Another setting all slicers should have is a percentage based extrusion multiplier. In Cura, it is called flow. We do recommend changing this setting. You can increase or decrease the setting by large amounts if needed, but should have a decent flow rate at 100%. The layer height setting indirectly controls the speed of the extruder. The layer height should change in relation to your nozzle size. Large nozzles need larger layer heights. For a five millimeter nozzle, we recommend a layer height of 1.5 millimeters. For a one inch nozzle, which is 25.4 millimeters, we recommend a layer height of 10 or 12 millimeters based on your material consistency. Here in the G-Code preview, we are first using a layer height of 1.5 with a nozzle size of 25.4. This will not be printable. Now the layer height is a much more reasonable 10 millimeters. If there is an initial layer height setting, make sure this is changed as well. As you can see, the G-Code preview is very different. The extrusion rate will be much higher and the vertical speed is higher as well. This is normal for larger nozzle sizes. The next major way to control the extruder speed is from the printer interface. On the print status tab under current jobs, there are sliders to control print speed and extrude speed. The extrusion slider works the exact same way as the flow setting in Cura. It is a percentage based multiplier. You can drag it to its maximum setting and the scale resets, allowing you to move it higher. You can press the reset button to set it back to 100%. We do recommend using this slider to fine tune your extrude rates during a print. After you have the correct extrude speed, you can change the print speed slider. This slider is a percentage multiplier for the whole machine. This means it increases or decreases the print speed movement with the extruder speed to match it. This can be used to speed up printing times or to slow them down if your object has fine details that need to be printed slower. These sliders are temporary for each print. If you find that your extrusion speed works best at 150%, you can re-slice your object with the flow setting at 150% in the slicer. When you print the new modified file, the extrusion slider in the interface can now stay at 100%. There is a way to permanently alter the speed of the auger or extruder until it is changed again. The config file for the printer controls all of the printer settings. It is in the system settings under file management you can click on it to edit it. The motor speed rates are controlled by M92. For the auger system, we want the E setting set to 500. For the 3,600 and 4,000 milliliter extruder, E should be set to 42. The 1,000 and 2,000 milliliter extruder should be set to 70. Generally, you should not need to change this setting. The last important setting that can change your extrusion speed are the switches on the extruder motor. We epoxy over these switches to prevent accidentally changing them. 
the auger system switches are set to 2, 3, 4, and 6 in the on position. The clay extruder switches are set to 3 and 4 in the on position. Switch 6 controls direction. There is a pulse rate chart on the side of the motor that shows what the switch settings do. 2, 3, and 4 have the motor do one revolution when 800 pulses are received, while 3 and 4 require 3,200 pulses for a single revolution, effectively slowing down the motor. Generally, you should not change these motor switches. We do not epoxy these switches if an auger or extruder is ordered by itself, as these settings we just mentioned are intended to be used with 3D Potter printers and may not be the same for your own printer or robot. If required, you can remove the epoxy from a motor by peeling it off if you want to change the pulse rate or direction. This video has covered every factor that can affect the speed of the auger or extruder motor. Please take care when changing these speed settings and try not to change the settings that we do not recommend to be altered.